Welcome to the SOLIDWORKS Electrical Video Series. In this video, we will cover schematics and power diagrams. To begin, we will open the Power System Multiline Scheme from the sheets at left. From the Schematic tab, we will select Insert Symbol, Other Symbol, and in this case, since we are in the correct library, we'll select the Power Distribution Panel option. We'll click to place. From here, we can either select OK to simply insert it, or if you would like to associate this symbol with an already existing symbol in another sheet, you could select the component from the menu at right. We'll insert another symbol in this case, the RoboRio controller. Again, we are given the option to either simply insert it by selecting OK, or to associate it with an existing component from the menu at right. Next, from the schematic tab, we will select Draw Single Line Wire Type Tool. Ground is already selected, so we'll begin with that. We'll click the negative terminal on the power distribution panel in the slot set out for the RoboRio and connect it to the negative terminal on the actual RoboRio component. Notice that if I do not set a good connection, the tool will not exit. To continue, We'll select the three dot menu from the wire type at right and select power. Again, we'll go from the RoboRio terminals on the power distribution panel and connect to the actual positive terminal on the RoboRio itself. Again, if a good connection is not formed, the tool will not exit. This process is the most basic process in creating any power distribution scheme. Obviously, if you have more components, we would continue on inserting symbols and associating wires to them until the entire power distribution scheme for our system was complete. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit youtube.com slash solidworks.